Hi, let me show you something that is really right up my valley. That's a Dutch oven from a Royal Catering. Uh, I used to work one of these uh, for years now. I got one from my grandmother, so it's like 30 or 40 years old, so it's a piece of equipment you would help for ages if you treat it right. Uh, le let me explain how it works. Uh, basically, you just hang it over the fire, or you put it just straight in the flame uh, in, into the bonfire, or you just cover it with hot ashes and the coals, uh, and it works like an oven. So the lid traps all the liquids inside, the steam is circulating, and it prevents anything from burning, whatever's inside. Uh, and also, the lid. The lid also plays a role. So if you take the lid off, turn it upside down, put some coals inside, put the lid back on, you end up frying, uh, having a very, very nice frying pan. So you can do um, your eggs on it, or you can fry a fish, or even a steak. So that's really, really cool. So let me just quickly go through some of the details. Well, of course, it's made of cast iron, which is known for its ability to, to conduct heat. Um, so even uh, when it's windy outside, it will nicely cover the, the temperature all over uh, from front to back, from top to bottom. Um, also, the very important, uh, well, there's a special handle that you can hang it over the flame like on a bonfire, just remember to use a, at least three leg stand so it hangs nice and solidly. Uh, then it has three legs on the bottom so you can place it in the flame and you will get a nice level to it. Uh, in the set you also get a special tool for lifting the lid. So what you do is just hinge it, hinge it in the yard and you can lift it without the risk of burning. And this is solid and it's so designed so you can shake the coals and ashes of the lid. Talking about coals and ashes, well, uh, that's the special edge that prevents the coal and ash from falling back into the pot. So that's really well thought. Um, talking about the heat and so on, well, I always like to use some special uh, heavy welding gloves. Uh, they are, of course, not in the set, but it's cool to have them somewhere uh, within reach because when you place it in the flame this will make get uh, all this will get very hot so it's good to have uh, some on hand a um, couple of devices uh, when you're cooking with a pot first of all it does require some practice from my experience I know uh, it takes a couple of tries uh, you know the first couple of tries end up in smoke uh, but when you figure it out and it is quite easy but you have to just uh, make a couple of experiments with it um, first of all before you use it the first time uh, you need to season it um, so what is seasoning basically you just put a little bit of oil and with a bit of salt on the bottom of the pot you put it in the heat uh, let the metal absorb some of the oil the rest you just rub it in into the uh, walls of the device and the carbonized um, rest of oil and salt will uh, sort of impregnate give a special protective coating uh, to the surface of the pot so nothing will get stuck to it this pot actually gets better over time so the more and more accumulates inside the more the pot absorbs uh, the better it cooks uh, it is actually quite hard to do it the first time, that's why I said the first tries will probably fail. Uh, not necessarily, but probably. Uh, Alright, so this particular pot has, has a, a capacity of 7.2 litres, uh, so it will easily feed a family of six. Uh, and as I said, very versatile, you can do a lot of stuff with it. Uh, I always take it, uh, take it camping with me, uh, you can do pretty much all the meals through the day in it. Um, all right, so if you are looking for a Dutch oven, just have a look at the website. There's a few more models with different capacities, so you definitely find the one that will suit your needs. Uh, each and every one comes with a three year warranty, and the producer made really sure uh, that they travel safe because they put it not in one, but two separate cardboard boxes so it doesn't rattle around during transport. Remember, cast iron is quite brittle. It is solid, but brittle. So nothing will happen to it in this packaging. Uh, also inside the box, you will find an instruction manual. Please have a read because there are a lot of useful information how to treat the device. And when this is treated right, it will hold for ages. It's for a lifetime. All right, so 
that's about it. So if you found this informative, just leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know what other equipment I can test for you and I'll do it. I thank you guys very much for watching and I see you next time.